In today's video, I'm going to show you how to record your screen using OBS. Either you're recording content and you want to share your screen basically and record it, or you are going to be live streaming and you want to be sharing your screen on a live stream. Either way, it's going to be the same concept. So I'm going to show you how to do that in OBS, 100% free, super fast, and let's do it right now. What is going on guys? My name is Tommy watching live production tips and tools helping you master live streaming. So right now I have OBS open. Okay. And I'm going to show you how you can actually record your screen. So what you need to do is first of all, we're going to create two scenes. The first scene is going to be a scene where you're just showing your screen and you're recording it. The second one is going to be a little different because I'm going to show you how to put yourself in a small window so that you can actually share your screen, but people can still see you if you have a webcam or a camera kind of connected to your computer so so let's go ahead and create the first scene so the first scene i'm gonna call it uh so just hit the plus sign and create a scene add a new scene as you can see it's gonna be blank and i'm gonna hit the plus sign again and uh, under sources okay and then what you need to do is you're gonna go here where it says display capture okay this is the key so hit display capture and then for this one you can call it main screen you can call it whatever you want so let's call it main screen okay and then hit okay and then as you can see obs is gonna suggest which screen to capture if you have multiple screens now if you have one screen you're gonna get this infinity effect okay in my opinion if you want to record your screen i would advise you to actually run have two different monitors or two different screens where you're gonna be running obs and doing all this recording or streaming and have another one you're going to be using actually to cap so in a, in my case what i'm going to do is i'm going to go ahead and choose a different monitor which is going to be the monitor that's actually recording this video that's where i'm running streamlabs okay and then you're going to choose if you want to show the cursor so if you're doing some sort of tutorials or explainer videos you want to make sure you show the cursor if maybe you're playing just videos you may actually want to hide it so for me i'm just going to keep it checked and then capture method just leave it automatic and then hit okay and that's pretty much it as you can see the screen is actually showing so i can do things on my screen here i can open some tabs let's say if you want to open some you know some google stuff like you know google chrome i can go to youtube i can browse i can play some videos i can make full you know i can see like i can play some like you know i can go to this guy right here if you're doing some reaction videos and stuff like that, you can do whatever you want on the screen and it's going to actually show up here. Now, I haven't showed you how to actually record it yet. OK, so before we do that, another thing is let me go ahead and put back my screen stream labs there. Another thing before we do that, you also want to make sure you have some audio coming in in case they say if I was actually capturing maybe a, a video playing back a YouTube video, you want to make sure people can actually hear that video right or can hear the sound coming from that video so that's why we're gonna add another source and then for this source we want to make sure we add a audio output capture so you want to make sure you add whatever is being output into your speakers you want to make sure you output that so i can put it say main speakers and then hit okay and then for this one you want to make sure you choose whatever speaker you have here if i go here you can see my speaker is the Roadcaster Duo main, okay? So you want to make sure you use that, okay? So once you have that, hit OK. So if I play back a video, let's say for us to play back a video here on YouTube, uh, there's an ad playing, you can skip it. As you can see, because the audio is coming through my speakers, you can see that the audio is actually showing up here, all right? That's how it's going to happen. So you want to make sure that thing is done the right way, because if it's not done, you're just going to have a muted, uh, you know, video, you know, recorded, which is going to be weird. Okay. The next scene that we need to do is a scene where, uh, where, uh, okay. That's another thing before we create that scene, actually, if you're going to be talking on the screen, okay, you want to capture your actual microphone, your actual voice. You want to make sure you add another source, another audio source, and this is going to be audio input capture. Okay. And this is going to be your microphone. Okay. So right now I have already, mine is already added. Okay. It's called the main mic but I can let me add it as a new. And then for this one, let's say call it mic, microphone and hit OK. And I'm going to go ahead and look for the microphone that you have connected to your computer. In my case, I have this microphone connected through the Roadcaster Duo, which is my interface. This one I'm going to be adding. 
and then hit OK. So now this way, when I speak, when I'm recording my screen, I can speak over it. I can also play back some audio and everything's going to be recorded. That's important. Now, the next thing that we're going to show or we're going to actually create going to be this, whatever we have on screen, but we're going to add a small image of myself or a little window, camera window kind of thing. So hit the plus sign and then we're going to call it screen and host. OK, you can call it whatever you want. And then for this time, what I can do, I can go back to the screen and I can select hit shift and select all the scenes that we have actually created and hit copy and then go to screen and host uh, scene and under sources and then paste. OK, right click and paste. So now I have everything that I had in this scene right here. But this time what I'm going to do is I'm going to add my camera. OK, <clears throat> so I'm going to hit the plus sign and I'm going to add a video capture device and i'm gonna call it my camera my cam and then i'm gonna hit ok and then for this one i can use this webcam that i have available already connected to my computer which is Osbat tiny 2 if you have a webcam connected it's gonna show up here or if you have any other camera it's gonna show up here and just select that camera you can go change the resolution type to custom and then you want to make sure it's 1920 by 1080p right here and then also you want to make sure uh fps you can make it 30 frames per second should do and then everything else leave the way it is and then hit okay now what we can do is we can go ahead and actually make it small and then you want to put in a corner where you see that it's not kind of saturated or there's no information that's going to be hiding. So in my case, I will probably put in a corner here on the top. But again, you can put it anywhere you want. OK, some people just have it here. OK, you can also like kind of crop it. So hit the alt on keyboard and then uh, just crop it like this and make it a little smaller and then put it in the corner something like this so as you can see now I can do things on this screen here again I can go to Google I can go to YouTube I can you know kind of review videos check out some stuff problem and I'm gonna be able to talk people are going to be able to hear me if I play back a video people are going to be able to hear that video which is awesome now, as you can see, it looks wow, it looks great, everything is good. But there's one little thing missing, which is like um, some sort of spice. We can spice it up a little bit. It doesn't look super flat. Okay, so let me go to my website, live production tips and tools, no, production.com, just to show you like if I was I was browsing on a website. As you can see, it looks really, really good. Okay. However, we can add something called overlays. Okay. Overlays basically you allow you to make it a little more spicy to make sure it looks good. And then to get some overlays, my go-to place to get overlays is gonna be at streamtools.com. So you're gonna go to stream, stream tools. I'm gonna leave a link down below. Streamtools.com tools with a Z and as you can see you have different overlays here you're gonna go ahead either you choose a static overlay or animated overlay okay and then just go ahead and choose whichever you kind of like you have a lot of choices in here static overlays you can choose and kind of preview the screens what they look like as you can see for us what we're trying to make is something that will look like this where you have you sharing your screen and then you're gonna be in a little window like this okay so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna go back to OBS usually once you find an overlay pack that you like like you can just actually download it. It's gonna come in a zipped folder, and these overlays, uh, overlay packs are actually going to include more overlays, more layouts for like you know bringing in guests and doing some other good stuff. Okay, but once we have it, what we need to do is you actually gonna go to the scene where we wanna add the overlay, and then we're gonna click the plus sign, and then we're gonna add a image. If it's a static overlay, it's gonna be an image. If it's a an animated overlay, it's gonna be a media source. Okay and it's gonna be looping you want to make sure you loop it okay but for now we're gonna use a static image okay and then i can just call it overlay and then hit okay and then i'm gonna go browse from the pack that i actually downloaded cool streamer purple and then i'm gonna go here where it says desktop share usually that's where it's gonna be and as you can see i'm gonna have an overlay that's kind of already already made for me and then i'm gonna bring it in and as you can see this is what it's gonna look like now you can see everything is on the underneath it but what you need to do is i'm gonna go to the main camera my cam okay and i'm gonna move it 
make sure it's within this window here then i can make it a little bigger something like this and so i can recrop it so hit alt and make sure it fits well something like this and as you can see it makes a big difference i can go to my main screen and i can also resize it make it a little smaller something like this make sure it fits within the canvas and also you don't want to be hiding some information and then boom and as you can see now if you want you can lock everything just to make sure you don't change anything by accident so now as you can see i can browse this looks amazing this is way better than what we had before okay so as you can see i'm gonna have you no know, kind of be chilling here in this little window and then if i want to show play back some youtube videos everything looks good here i can click to any video here go to think media video again there's always an ad uh, but it's gonna look like this boom see i can play back some videos here full screen and it's gonna look really clean right i can also go back to my dream labs i was doing a tutorial boom right so now the next thing is really once you have everything set up again we still have these scenes here we have this one right here it's just a screen nothing else and then we have this one that's actually including me the only thing you need to do is you're going to go to settings here. If you actually going to stream, you want to make sure you set up your live stream. If you want to stream to Facebook, you want to go to stream to Facebook. If you want to stream to YouTube, you're going to set it up to stream to YouTube. You can just change service and then go to YouTube, uh, choose YouTube. You want to make sure also you go to video here. And then you want to make sure base canvas usually it's going to be the resolution of your monitor. So if you're using a 4K monitor, this is something that you have to set up before and you actually make the base canvas a 4k resolution you're just gonna have to type it in but most of us use a 1080p 1080p monitor so you can actually leave it the way it is output scale uh scaled resolution this is gonna be the resolution they're gonna be sending to your stream or you're gonna be recording in again if you're doing just 1080p you should just leave it the way it is 1920 by 1080p common fps values you want to make sure you leave it at 30 frames per second uh if you're doing a talking head video if you're not doing any gaming if you're doing gaming then that's gonna be 60 frames per second here 60 so make sure it's at 60 if you're gaming for recording what you need to do you're gonna go to output mode make sure it's on advanced and then you want to go to recording you can actually use the type standard and then you want to go to recording path choose the place where you want your videos to be recorded and then for recording format you want to make sure you actually choose fragmented mp4 this is what i recommend because it's going to allow you to record and if something happens obvious crashes in the middle of recording you're going to be able to recover your recordings no problem and then video encoder you can actually set it to use streamer uh, stream encoder or if you have a dedicated graphics card you can actually set it up yourself Okay. Audio encoder, leave it the way it is. Uh, rescale output, make keep, uh, keep it the way it is. Disabled. And then go to encoder settings. You want to make sure you actually choose CQP. And then CQ level, I you always uh, set it up at 18, around 18. And then keyframe interval, I uh, use two seconds. And everything else, uh, keep it the way it is. You can actually hit apply and then you're going to be good to go. Now, another thing is now you can actually go ahead and start recording your screen, no problem. Uh, for streaming, if you're streaming, you can go to this tab where it says streaming and then make sure video encoder is actually set to your dedicated graphics card. If you have one, if you don't, you can use X264. And then you also want to make sure this uh, encoder settings, uh, make sure it's set to CBR. Bit rate, depending on where you're streaming. If you're streaming to YouTube, you want to make sure you actually... Uh, choose the bit rate that goes with youtube if you're streaming to facebook you want to make sure you actually choose what actually works with facebook that's gonna be in a, another video that's why for recording really all you gotta do is you're just gonna hit okay and then once you, you're ready you're just gonna hit start recording and record whatever is on screen now for streaming what i just showed you for the settings if you want to stream to youtube you want to make sure you actually check out this video if you want to stream to facebook you want to make sure you check out this video because those videos are going to show you actually how to set up all the settings that you need for streaming to either platform youtube or facebook so you'll be able to go live with your screen or show whatever is happening on your screen to your viewers so check out those videos guys but if you have questions let me know down below in the comment section. Other than that, I'll see you next time. Take care.